Yo, what is up everyone? It's your boy Crypto Decipher here to decipher away the mystery that is crypto. Alright, so today is January 9th, 2021 and I want to talk about the current market, okay? And I'm going to talk to you about what's going to be uh, my prediction, okay? I'm not a financial advisor, so don't just take this like for an opinion. Uh, but my opinion is actually based on the fact that I've been in crypto for a really long time and I've seen it grow, crash, grow, crash, go through like long sustained uh, uh, winters, as we call it, and then come back to life uh, like, you know, like a phoenix rising from the ash. So I want to talk to you about my predictions for some of uh, the coins that I'm very, very bullish about. And then I'm going to talk about some projects and also about some current news that's going on. All right. So. My format, as always, is to talk about what's going on on Coin Market Cap, and then we're gonna see the market as it is, right? So right now, as you can see, everything is green. It looks like Christmas. A little sprinkle red over here, you know, from uh, seven days, but everything is absolutely green, 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 folks. I mean, I can't even tell you the last time I've seen crypto thriving like this okay because we're only looking at the seven day average uh i can't tell you the last time crypto was thriving like this so it's, it's actually incredible to see um even though it is incredible to see most of these altcoins i'll say 99 percent of them have not been to the top yet you know what i mean the all-time high that um they had in 2017 2018 so we still have a long way to go but compared to you know Bitcoin and Ethereum, Ethereum is almost at its all-time high. And Bitcoin, as you know, I mean, if you know about cryptocurrency, it's because of Bitcoin. Uh, it's doubled from its all-time high. It took it about 22 days to go from 20,000, which was an all-time high, to 40,000, 41. I think it even reached 42,000 um, earlier today. So I just want to talk to you about like what to expect when you're looking at the market based on past data okay i'm not just shooting in the dark i'm going off of past data all right so now before i begin i want to talk a little bit more in depth about bitcoin and the advantages of actually investing in altcoins as opposed to just going in on bitcoin all right so let's go to bitcoin first so the granddaddy of all Bitcoin here, right? Sitting very, very comfortably at $40,000, uh, 40709 you know, depending on which market and exchange you're in. But uh, you need to look at the fact that like the current market cap for uh, uh, Bitcoin is sitting comfortably at $753 billion. Okay, that's billion with a B. And the total market cap right now is 1.098 or let's just round it up to 1.1 trillion dollars okay and the bitcoin dominance right now is at 68.6 so it still means bitcoin is actually on the rise all right historically what happens is bitcoin goes up right it goes on a parabolic run and all of a sudden it cuts back why because people that invested in bitcoin um, they want to take their profits and then invest them in altcoins like Ethereum, XRP, Ripple, uh, XLM, you know, Icon, all these really, really great projects and actually uh, get a really, really substantial return. All right. So in terms of just the comparison, I'm going to compare some of the all time highs from coins that I've you know dabbled in in the past to bitcoin right now all right so how much you need to invest in bitcoin compared to these all right so let's first talk about um it well i mean ethereum is completely um almost at the all-time high right now so if you look at the historical data you know all-time high three years ago actually almost exactly three years ago was 1432 all right it's only 7.69% down from there. So I don't think Ethereum is going to be the currency that I would you know, invest in if I wanted to have 10x uh, return on my investment, all right? Because in order for you, know, for you to get 10x or $10,000 uh, 
in Ethereum, the market cap just for Ethereum has to surpass the total market cap right now, which is $1.1 trillion. So that's not really realistic, people. So let's use our brains a little bit and actually see opportunities and then try to get into opportunities based off of that, right? I am all about making sure the money that I put in is going to get 10, 20, 30, 50, and even 100x. Why? Because it's happened in the past and it's going to happen right now. It's literally making the same pattern. It's literally just on the same pattern that it was uh, about four years ago when the bull run started for for Bitcoin and you know that transferred to altcoins. So we're still not in the altcoin season. I expect the Bitcoin dominance to go up a little bit more before this. I expect it to go up to maybe 75%, 75 to 77%. And then we're going to get a little pullback and I expect the Bitcoin dominance to go down significantly. We're talking about uh, less than 50%. So let's say 45%. And when that happens, you're going to see projects like uh, iOS, all right, which is currently sitting at a penny. All right. And it's all time high was at one point. Let's see. Yeah, see, where are we? It was at 13 cents. So we're talking about a 13x increase if it goes back to its all-time high, all right? So iOS is um, is backed by institutional money. Um, there's a lot of like tech backers for it. And also the fact that, um, you know, it's, it's supposed to be like the next generation up. So, you know, if Bitcoin was crypto 1.0, Ethereum was 2.0. Um, then we have something like uh, iOS, which is the third generation. So it goes beyond Ethereum um, because I think the, cons the, 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 the consensus is the consensus algorithm is called POB or proof or proof of believ uh, believability. So that's what you need to look at when you're actually looking at projects like these. Um, I would actually do my research. Actually, maybe over the last 48 hours, it's gone up to about 150%. So something to really, really consider uh, the fact that it's still sitting at one penny and it's 13 times less than it was at its all-time high back in the crypto and the evergreen summers of crypto. That's what I would consider, right? And another project I want to talk about is Pundix. Pundix, actually, they have a product point of sale system. Uh, product that's actually available. Um, I actually got into Pundi X when it was at ICO. Um, so it was, they split like, for some reason, it used to have like a, a bigger number, but they split. I uh, think it was, I don't remember the exact number, but uh, that's why it's like, you know, the actual currency is very, very low. But for the longest time, this was like one of the only actual product that was out there so it's pretty much supposed to bring you crypto to the mainstream uh, so it's a really really good project and as you can see right now it's pumped a lot it is pumped close to like look at that 200 something odd percent um, so it's gone up a lot over the last 48 hours and it still has a long way to go before it reaches its all-time high because you know we're talking about one cent being its all-time high, uh, so, you know, 96% less than what it was. So it's something that has a lot of um, a lot of ways to go before it gets there. But if it ever gets to like I don't know, uh, just half of what it was all-time high-wise, we're talking about a significant significant uh, increase for your portfolio. So projects like these that have good teams, that have actual products behind them, uh, just go read the white paper at uh, pundix.com and you can actually see some of the technology that's behind this project, all right? It's gone up a lot. It went from like maybe 200 something to 117 and it's going to enter the top 100 coins very, very soon. So before that, you can actually maybe just add a couple, 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 couple of these tokens and see what happens. Honestly, it's a very promising project. All right. The next one I want to talk about is they call it Voyager Coin right now. It used to be BQX, 
and then the chain to eat those. And now, I mean, I don't know why they, these guys just keep like changing the name and rebranding and rebranding, but yeah, um, it's pumped over 400% in the last 24 hours. I'll actually zoom in and show you. This is the peak right here, right? And these are people that were sitting on a lot of bags, so it, get, it went up to 72%. And then it is down to like 53 cents right now. So it's not 72 percent, sorry, 72 cents, and then gone back to this. Uh, this was a very promising project at one point. I honestly don't know what's up with it. Uh, I haven't really followed through or followed the team or any news when we're, we were in crypto winter, but it was one that a lot of people were very, very bullish on. Then I'll show you something too how high this used to be back in the day it used to be at ten dollars yes bqx aka ethos used to be at ten dollars that's incredible let's look at the potential folks and the next one i want to talk about is helium all right so helium actually let's go together helium is a fairly new-ish cryptocurrency all right that is very new actually it hit an all-time high of $4 uh, in September 24th, 2020. So this is a project that has a lot of potential. All right. So what it is, is you can go and purchase a router, the Helium router, for about $350 or $400. Um, if you live in an apartment, you can actually use the router to uh, provide the router as a free uh, internet for your neighbors or if you have an establishment like if you have a business establishment you can use the router uh, to have people get connected to the internet so when people are actually on the router and surfing uh, you get to earn coins you know what I mean so I know people that are living in like apartments in New York and, and LA uh, and San Francisco that are making twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred dollars per month just because they bought a $300 or $400 uh, helium router connected to their apartment and offer that as a free internet. All right, that's literally what you do. When people every so anytime somebody's using you, you're making money. So this is a very very good return on investment. Even if you don't invest in the actual coin, just think about the potential this could have and. Um, that can actual like passive income so 2500 to 3500 dollars like if you're sitting in la if you're making 3500 dollars that's pretty much like paying for your rent right so something to consider yeah so this is what it is literally says start a wireless uh revolution you know it's 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 freaking incredible <laughs> yeah it's it's fucking fantastic so get the opportunity to learn about a very very good technology very very promising technology the team behind it is very very good all right another one I want to talk about is you trust so you trust was like a decentralized all right sorry you trust is another decentralized point of sale system that is supposed to be like kind of like Pundi X that allows businesses to actually accept uh, cryptocurrency as a form of payment it was once a very promising ICO I am not a hundred percent sure what happened to it yeah let's see the all-time high was a dollar 42 it's pumped quite a bit we've had a nice little pump over the last few days let's look at the chart real quick see it peaked about look at that 25 cents and it bottomed out at 18 cents so it's pumped quite a lot but at the same time it's at 20 cents right now and the fact that it's actually um, still 84 percent under the value it was at all-time high means a lot uh, we can click on the website see and it's like yeah you can accept uh, you know crypto as a currency very very good team i was actually invested in in at ico i sold out right before the crash so i'm pretty stoked about that at that point at that time 
but you know it's something to consider um, website looks good they've pretty updated the website but yeah something to think about right and then now the next one I want to talk about is Golem Golem was one of those so Golem Golem was a decentralized supercomputer that you can connect many uh, open source supercomputers that you can connect other computers to and make one big supercomputer it was an OG back in the day it's been around for a hot minute I remember it used to be like a top 30 or 40 coin and as you can see by the market cap at one point look at this in January 12th I mean Golem was sitting happily at like 793 and then it died and it just kind of you know, like everything else, it was just dead. But right now, Golem is sitting on 136, so it might make an appearance in the top 100. Uh, I'm not really sure about this. I just wanted to bring up Golem because it was one of those projects that we all thought was going to be like in the billions of dollars right now. But you know, you never know. It might still have a little little leg to it. But it was one of those projects where people see it in the top 100 and you know, it's sitting at 13 or 14 cents. I mean, I'm sure if it gets into the top 100, it'll probably be sitting quite like 25, 30, 40 cents. People want to invest, all right? Um, let's see what markets are there. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's in Coinbase. So, you know, something to consider because of its low price. But the market kept going at $2 million, all right? All right, right now, let's talk about IOTEX, the Internet of Things, uh, the Internet of Trusted Things, as they call it. Uh, once a great project, uh, ICO, uh, that was living, <laughs> sitting comfortably at a very, very high price, but uh, actually, what's going on with the market cap here? Yeah, it's actually... Yeah, it was the height over here at 67 million. Uh, it hasn't really done too bad. Actually, it's still pretty bad. Um, I used to be very, very interested in this project at ICO. I never, I never got a chance to invest in it because it was just it was one thing. It was very difficult to get into as a pool. But look at that. At all time, I was sitting at uh, eight cents. Um, and now it's sitting at zero zero eight. So let's let's do like a, a fun math calculation, all right? Because I love math. Um, so if it was at point zero eight at all time high, and we're dividing it at what it is right now, this is the potential it has to reach um, to reach its all time high. So it's only ten x compared to the other coins, but you know. The Internet of Things reimagined. I haven't really kept up with this for a while, but it's one of those intriguing concepts. Uh, they have, I think they have a hardware and all the good stuff right now, but at one point it seemed very like out there. So that's what it is. I'm not 100% sure about this one, so I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted people to kind of look outside of the. Um, the top 100 coins and maybe explore somewhere else so that's all i wanted to provide you guys with today so uh, the, and actually let's bring out our 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 trusty calculator again and let's see where you can 10x your money with bitcoin all right if it's currently sitting at 40k in order to, uh, to 10x your coin uh, your um, investment bitcoin would have to be a four hundred thousand dollars right four hundred thousand dollars means bitcoin's market cap would have to be at seven point five trillion dollars just let, let that number like sink in bitcoin would have to be at seven point five trillion dollars you know what that makes bitcoin that makes Bitcoin the most valuable 
asset in the world. It's more valuable than Apple. It's more valuable than Google. And Amazon combined. So the three biggest companies in the world. Bitcoin would be bigger than that. The Bitcoin market cap would have to be bigger than that. If it 10x is from that. So think about that. If you want Ethereum to go 10x, they just have to be at 1.5 trillion dollars. Alright? So it's a safer bet to think this will go to you know thirteen thousand dollars before Bitcoin goes to four hundred thousand dollars. Bitcoin will reach that height, but not for a long time. Uh, so I would honestly take my money and invest it somewhere where you can actually, you know, 5x, 10x, maybe even 50x your pot, your coin, or your investment, sorry. So lots and lots and lots of projects to look at. All right, before I go now, I want to talk about one thing. I know I'm going on a tangent. It's past my bedtime. I'm still making this video for you guys. But I want to talk about encryption. Encryption, or the ticker is DNA is one of the most intriguing projects when I came to it. I'm still holding a lot of, just full disclosure, I'm holding a lot of their coins. But it was supposed to be like you can sell your DNA for encryption. Um, so if you have like, you know, a de-identified data. So you can sell your DNA to research and then you can get paid because of that. And this it's actually an active service you know what i mean like i don't know why it's not getting so much press right now the team has not been really good at marketing this coin or marketing the project but in order for you to 10x your money this just needs to hit 11 million dollars right now it's, i'm sorry 18 million dollars right now it's sitting at 1.8 million dollars in order for you to 10x your your, you know, investment all needs to do is just hit 1. Point, uh, sorry, 18 million. Let me show you where encryption used to be. This is the shocking part. Encryption at an all-time high of two dollars. Right now, it's sitting at two cents. So if we take out our trusty calculator and say two dollars divided by two cents. Seventy four X. So with the actual real world working product, it needs to do seventy four X. So it takes a couple of people to actually invest in it, a couple of whales to invest in it, and it would just go to the moon. So this is something I would keep my eyes on as my parting gift for today, alright? Anyways folks, thank you so much for staying with me and listening to me and watching my videos. If you haven't already done so Make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm actually going to be posting videos every other day, working tirelessly day and night to make sure I'm bringing you the most informed analysis in crypto. Um, and I want, when you're making a, an investment, I want you to see it as a form of transferring wealth from like generational wealth transfer, right? So about like there's institutionalized, there's institutional wealth that's already existing in america and like all around the world is actually very uniform and this is the one time you can take a little bit of money invest it in something that's promising and pretty much change yours in your family's life i know kids okay i know kids that were sitting in their mom's basement investing their like money for mcdonald's that have become millionaires right now so just think about that. All right. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching my video. If you haven't done so, subscribe, like my video. I am making new videos every other day. I'm consistently going to churn out these things. And the only way you can find out and actually use what I'm saying to you, use the information I'm telling you, is if you actually are subscribed and you hit the bell notification so you get notified as soon as I hit, you know, I pop one of these out. From the conveyor belt all right thanks again for watching my videos until next time